Welcome to the HSHSL's Introduction to PubMed tutorial. In this tutorial, we will show you how to do a basic search in PubMed, the National Library of Medicine's free online database of the biomedical literature. To access PubMed, go to the library's homepage at www.hshsl.umaryland.edu. PubMed is freely available to the public at pubmed.gov. However, in order to access the full text of the journal articles the library subscribes to, you'll need to use the link to PubMed found on the library's homepage. From the homepage, choose Databases, then choose P, and click on PubMed. In the search box, you can go ahead and type your search. I'll do a search today on gestational diabetes in younger women. I'll just start off by typing gestational diabetes. Then click search. PubMed comes back and tells you that you have 10,265 articles on your topic. You can see 20 articles at a time per page. If you want to change the number of references you see per page, click on the arrow next to display settings. I'll change it to 50 references per page. In display settings, you can also change how information is displayed on the screen. I'm going to change from summary display, which just shows the basic citation information for an article, to abstract display, which will show the abstract as well as other information about each article. When I click apply, I can now see 50 citations on a single page with an abstract for each article. To limit my search to gestational diabetes in young women, I'll use PubMed's filters. The available filters are listed on the left-hand side of the search results screen. Since I want to focus on articles about younger women, I need to use the Ages filter. I'll click on the link to show additional filters and check the box next to Ages and click Show. Now several choices of age groups appear on the list of filters on my screen. The group I'm looking for isn't listed here, so I'll click on More and then check off Young Adult 19 to 24 years. When I click Show, that category is now listed with the other filters and I can simply click on the age group to narrow down my search. There are a number of other ways to limit your search as well. You can limit by publication date. You can also limit by type of article, choosing to only look at review articles or clinical trials, for example. You can also limit your studies to those with human subjects or those looking at animal models. You can look at male or female subjects. You can also limit your results to a specific language. I'll go ahead and choose English. And now with my limits of articles in English about young adults ages 19 to 24, instead of over 10,000 articles, I only have 500. Let's go ahead and do another search. Uh, this time I'll look for postpartum depression. That search has brought back 367 results. Notice though that the filters are still in effect. Once you've added filters, they'll stay there until you turn them off. So, so in this search, instead of looking at all articles about postpartum depression, I'm only getting those that are in English and about young adults ages 19 to 24. To, to see all of the articles in PubMed about postpartum depression, I'll just click Clear All next to the list of filters. Now I'll actually be able to see all of the citations about postpartum depression in PubMed, over 4,000. This concludes our tutorial on basic searching in PubMed. If you need further assistance, please contact the Reference Department at 410-706-7996, or you can go to the library's Ask Us page, where you can send an email to the Reference Department or chat with a member of the Reference staff in real time.